Hello everybody, welcome back to Lair of the Overmind for part 8 of my Let's Play Undertale series. So we just got done fighting Papyrus and became friends with him, and now we are apparently supposed to go on a date with the guy, so I guess let's do that. Yeah, over here to the right, he should be just kind of standing, chilling out, you know, just hanging out over past the library, as he does. No fan mail steal. No fan mail still. Man, that guy needs to get some fan mail. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place like... A place I like to spend a lot of time. Cool, where are we going? Where are we going? And back this way. Let me guess. Your house. <laughs> Your house. My house. Inside we go. Oh, there you go. Get some nice jazz tunes going. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Apparently the rock likes to eat sprinkles. My brother always goes out to eat, but Recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quickie, but filled with sugary, non-egg substance. I probably read that wrong. How absurd! Indeed, Papyrus. Aha! Interested in my food, mu my food museum? Please, pursue my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers that are labeled spaghetti. <laughs> the other half contains nothing but empty bags of chips. But an empty bag of chips. Learn to read, damn you. <laughs> That's the trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. Okay. That sink is way too high up there. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Oh no. What? Catch that meddling canine. Oh, he's gone. Curses! <laughs> this is poop in the sands. Sands, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Uh-oh. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. <laughs> Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? <laughs> Forget it! <laughs> oh god. It's awesome. You touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Nice. Oh, it's my favorite game show! Say It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge me! I'm not judging you, Papyrus, no worries. It's a joke book. Take a look inside? Yeah, why not? Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. Oh, wow. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Okie dokie. I have a feeling there's like a science joke there that I'm not getting. Welcome to the scenic... To scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Okay. Well, I wonder. I wonder if he gets tired running back and forth. How much energy do you have, Papyrus? I hope I'm not annoying you. Probably. Ah, it doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Man, really giving that papyrus a workout. Oh, making some sounds. Jeebits. Wow, being a good host is a real workout. <laughs> nice. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. Oh, there's some kind of smoke coming out from underneath Sans's room. The door is locked. Ah, something crazy going on in there. 
That's my room! If you finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Oh, um, uh, sure, I guess. Uh, this is Papyrus' room, everybody. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet! I'm quite popular there! I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count! <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona! Always sending me bad puns in the goofy font! Uh, it must be Sans. <laughs> it must be Sans. There are no skeletons inside my closet! Except me sometimes! Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Ah, uh, he wasn't lying. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Okay, dating start! Dating start. Looks like a battle. Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before! But don't worry! You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name! <laughs> I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library! Convenient. We're ready to have a great time! Let's have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Oh, it's Thursday. Reel it in. We've got a fishing gauge, we got a popularity gauge, there's an egg apparently, we got some virus crime, and is that a dog radar? <laughs> what the heck? Wowie! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two! Step two, ask them on a date! <clears throat> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you! Sure. R really? Wowie! Thought that was the whole reason I was here. I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three, put on clothes to show you care. Oh. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning! You know what? Sure. Why not? <laughs> what? No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power is is increasing! Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you bested me yet! What the heck, tension? This suddenly reminds me of the Phoenix Wright series. OBJECTION! <laughs> I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! A <laughs> cool dude. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? Uh, it's kind of weird. I think I hate it, actually. I gotta be honest with you. No! Your honesty! It shows how much you really care! <laughs> oh my god, Papyrus. Oh, uh, this is awesome. The dating power increases! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! Oh no, I said the wrong thing, my date power went down. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret! But that won't happen! Uh, what about your shoes? Human souls are stronger than monster souls! But the soles of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same! <laughs> what about these Mickey Mouse looking pants? There's no secret to my legs, just hard work and perseverance! What about this shoe you have for a hand? Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer? No, I must resist! About your shirt. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it! Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way! Um, your hat maybe? My hat? My hat? 
My hat! <laughs> oh, it's a present. Well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice! It's a present! A present just for you! Open it. What is it? It's spaghetti. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right, but oh so wrong! <laughs> OBJECTION! This ain't just any plain old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cask! Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human! It's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further! Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Oh god! Oh, no! Dating power off the charts and into his face. <laughs> oh man. Human! It's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Everything you do! Everything you say! It's all been for my sake! Human, I want you to be happy too! It is time for me to express my feelings! It is time that I told you! I, Papyrus! I, um... Boy, is it hot in here! Or is it just me? <coughs> Man, this voice is killing me. Oh, shoot! Human, I... Oh no, he's gonna reject us, isn't he? I'm sorry! I don't like you the way you like me! Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How can I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. <laughs> God, Papyrus. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep you, I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you because I don't even have lips. <laughs> <laughs> and s hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me! Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best! <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number! You can call me anytime! Platonically! <laughs> well, gotta go! <laughs> Papyrus, you're funny. You're a funny guy, dude. You're a funny guy. It's a race car bed, neatly made. Well, that was fun. Action figures of many sexy robots. Ooh, wow. It's a beat-up pirate flag. You would be a fan. Who knows? The bookshelf is filled with complex tomes about puzzle creation and children's books. Because Papyrus loves him them children's books. All right, well, we're going to stumble our way back outside to the safe point, and I'm going to go ahead and bring the episode to a close here, guys. Thank you so much once again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And heck, if you're enjoying this journey, share it with some of your friends. Maybe we can get some more people into Undertale. All right, once again, everybody, thank you for watching, and I will see you all for the next episode.